setting up profiles and roles is extremely important to any successful implementation. So let's go through that now. So a profile, and basically you can you can see what it says here. Essentially, a good way to think of it is a profile is what a person can do. So what one of your users can do when they see a record. Are they allowed to delete it? Are they allowed to edit it? Are they even allowed to touch it? Versus a role is what they're allowed to see. If it's their boss's record, maybe you don't want them to see that record because of the hierarchy of your company. So let's first start with profiles. What I always recommend people doing is creating a new profile to try this out. And typically standard doesn't suffice for most users. So go ahead and hit new profile. And then what it's gonna ask you is what do you wanna clone from? I always clone from admin because it gives you everything and then you can flip things off. So I'll call this profile salesperson. So any new salesperson that I add into the company, I'll add them to this profile. And maybe I'll name it, uh, I'll, I'll uh, put some description here, uh, normal salesperson. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit save. And what it'll do is actually bring up a page like this. So you can see like what I mentioned before, you can actually flick on and flick off what they're allowed to do. So for example, now they can't even see deals. Now they can. And then when they do see a deal, if you hit this little downwards arrow here, you can then choose what they can do or how they interact with the deal. So maybe you say, well, this probably wouldn't make sense, but well, this salesperson is allowed to view all the deals, but they're not actually allowed to create or edit or delete any. The typical thing I recommend to people, and obviously every business is different, but you have to go through each of these settings and flick on and flick off what you don't want. Now, I always recommend for a normal user to not allow them to delete. It's a good practice. You never know what a user could want to do in, in tough times or whatever. So I'd recommend turning that off for every type of record. And I recommend this to all of our clients. So I'll go through, I'll say they're not allowed to delete anything. All right. And then it gets down to this area. This advanced features is the back end stuff. Do you want this person to be allowed to touch automations? create new web forms for websites, delete users or add users. So typically people, when they have people that are not admin, they turn all of this off. Okay. They're not allowed to import, export, et cetera. And then channels, I would recommend keeping this on, um, at least in some fashion. So to explain each of these, this will allow them to actually send an email from begin. I'd recommend keeping that on. Mass email, depending on the salesperson, maybe you want them to be able to email all of their clients at once. So you can keep that on. Templates, do you want them to be able to create their own email template? Most people keep that on. And email integration as well. Um, so, and that's basically so that your email in Gmail or Outlook or wherever will actually auto sync in to begin. So majority of our clients keep all of this on. If they were to turn something off, it would be mass email and templates. Social settings, typically people turn this off, but essentially what it is is allows them to integrate their Twitter or some other social media channel with Begin. And then Desk, this is a new feature. I'd recommend keeping it on. Essentially, uh, if you do use Zoho Desk, which is a ticketing software, you can actually integrate the tickets back into Begin so that your salesperson can see issues or questions that the client has. And then you'll hit Save. Once you hit save, you'll see now you've created a salesperson profile. So when you're actually creating users now and inviting them, you'll notice that I won't actually be able to change mine, but under the profile here, you can actually switch that new user or assign them a salesperson. And then everything you just set up for them, they will have access to. Thanks.